So with more and more people turning to motorhome life, I thought I would just start to do maybe a little um, selection of videos on equipment that we think is uh, pretty important and uh, what we've found over the years uh, so well just as a, a little bit of an introduction we sort of we have been uh, motorhoming now for 13 nearly 14 years this year i believe so um We've had a fair bit of experience and uh, know what sort of is required with the job now. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we're, we're sort of like classing ourselves as quite professional a little bit now. So, um, yeah, we just want to sort of try and... I'm going to sort of do a few little shorter videos on... Um, we'll try and make them short, you know what I get like. But, uh, yeah, sort of try and put out some information for people um, that are new to this game and uh, want informative videos. Um, so the first thing I was going to say, actually, I was talking to somebody today and they were literally telling me that their um, selection of 2023 roller teams has been exhausted with demand so then they haven't got any more to you know it's it's that busy so which is a very unprecedented times that we're living in the minute with motorhome life but everybody is turning to motorhomes and we know it how many motorhomes are out on the road so um that's our little uh, introduction and uh yeah so it's basically the equipment that we have found super valuable over them first 13 nearly 14 years and uh, the first one without a doubt is going to be this little baby so what we've actually got here is our little delonghi babino and we have had this little heater it's an oil filled little radiator that everybody recognizes one of these things don't they but um from the word go we were looking for something so when we're on electricity on a hookup uh we're looking for something to heat the van this is doing the job yeah with this heater with us we are on we keep it on electricity hookup here so i'm on electricity hookup and uh so i can keep this little delonghi plugged in and uh so it just gives our motor home a nice feel it just keeps it aired all the time um but yeah so that's one great advantage okay we're lucky enough to be um hooked up at our property um so uh, that's a yeah pretty lucky but um yeah so if you are lucky enough to have a hookup at home and just want something to keep off that um um like yeah cold damp uh feeling of when you get in your van uh this little baby it normally stands it's i've put it up on the table tonight so you can see um see it a little bit better but uh, normally i'll just stand it on the mat down on the floor and uh we just leave it tick over it's turned turned a little bit milder down here um, over the last uh, couple of nights so we've got it on about 4.5 but when it's super cold I just crank up the thermostat to 5 and uh, it gets proper toasty in here so um, yeah so you can just adjust that yeah, so the other thing is obviously when you do get to a campsite and you're having electricity hookup and uh, this thing is just so nice it just it will just save your gas heating um we we sort of tend to if we tend to if we need heat we'll put this one running um and maybe even have our blown gas heating on as well um just to uh, you know com completely um in heat the whole capsule of the motorhome but um but at the end of the day, if you're on electricity hookup and want heat, uh, why not utilize one of these little babies, something similar. There's various sizes available. We've just found um, this has been the best little size. I'll tag in some size details. I think you can probably get a rough idea of, uh, you know, probably there's about a, a foot off the, the table. So um, yeah, you know, you can get, a, uh, you know, it's quite a nice sleek little unit. And this thing is just works so well and it's still going. It is 
toasty. Um, it's got a great little carrying handles here so you can just literally pick it up under there um, and we normally put the wire around the bottom and uh, we'll just tuck it down under our table. Um, this unit as the weather starts to get better we get into maybe the end of April, May and uh, we will then remove it as we will not lead, need it then in the uh, through the summer period. So it's basically a um, more of a wintry style, autumn, winter, spring, depending on the weather. And um, yeah, so, but I'm, I'm just going to recommend this as total value for money. I'm going to put, a, there's an Amazon link in. I've just, I've been looking on Amazon to see if they still do these and they're coming in at around 67 pounds, something like that. Um, I think back in the day, we picked this one up in Oregos uh, for um, around that, I believe. I can't remember. <laughs> it was a while ago, but uh, from that day, it's never let us down. And uh, I'll tell you now, if it did, if it did even fail at this stage of the game, I wouldn't hesitate to go and buy another one because that is absolute total value for money. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll, t I'll tag in some information on it, um, some bit more detailed information, the weight, uh, 500 watts um, output, um, actually got the dimensions on here as well, we'll get that tagged in on the side. And uh, yeah, and basically I'm always looking at reviews and you, the reviews on this little heater are incredibly good, absolutely incredible good yeah so everybody they haven't the, you know the people that have bought these it's just not failed so um i hope that um maybe have enlightened you if any questions for them over so we've actually found that um we, we took this on a winter trip and uh when we were in like germany there's so many places that you can get you know the electricity is um very <laughs> widely available out there and uh you know we were um putting maybe a euro in the little slot machine two euros if check out some of our videos and you'll see um how yeah well equipped they are in europe so if you're thinking about going to Europe next winter, next autumn on a motorhome trip and you are looking for some, I, I'm not actually, um, you know, I'm nothing to do with DeLonghi. It's just, per, this is total personal experience with this little heater. And like I say, this thing is just absolutely bulletproof. So uh, just an independent um review on it from me to say how happy we've been with it so um, i'll leave it there i'm just going to try and make these videos quite short um and just this is the kind of thing that we want to recommend to you and um, just to give you that sort of uh peace of mind, buying equipment, uh, value from, and this is value for money equipment, without a doubt. You know, this has kept us toasty warm on a many a cold night. Um, all them years from the early days of uh, setting off on our motorhome travels in the autumn when we was getting a bit like, oh my goodness, isn't it me? Do we need a little heater in here? And uh, that's where it all started for us. It was a learning curve. Um, can't believe how efficient the gas is in these motorhomes now anyway. But um, if you're on electricity, chuck it out in your own in whatever but uh, that's it from me thanks for watching this video i hope you'll give me a thumbs up for um if you've enjoyed it and give you giving you some inspiration of getting uh, maybe one of these heaters and uh, always hit us up for um subscribe if you haven't already subscribed but thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one